and congratulations and welcome to the level where only a few people got to. Now you know the true story about me and now you can help me to do this satanic agenda. That's what people were freaking spending their lives learning. Was that possible to you that Xenu was real and all the alien stuff? Well, like I said, they don't hit you on Xenu until OT3. And by the time you get to that, you've invested. So I, that's a level I got to before I went insane. And, and then a couple years later, uh, that subconsciously, because I had a nervous breakdown outside of their organization, that was the very beginning of me subconsciously doubting. I say subconsciously because I had no idea anything was wrong with Scientology. I thought it was me. Any cult tells you everything's your fault. Oh, it didn't work? Go back and study the materials. You didn't get it. Bro, they don't <clears throat> hit you with Xenu. Very, very few people make it up to that level. 5% of all Scientologists, I would guess, maybe 10%. Um, so by the time I got up to that, you're, and anybody does, you're already 10, 20 years invested of um, nomenclature and space opera, and you've listened to tape lectures that are all about past lives and how L. Ron Hubbard was on the Van Allen belt, and he was like sussing space over here, and he's got the, the track mapped over here in the Palladians, and it's, dude, it's way out there, but you're not hit with that at the beginning. It's the communication course. It's basic tools for life. It's how to fix the family. Then when you get into the auditing, which is where you hold the soup cans, another psychotherapist hypnotizes you and implants false memories into you while you think you're going spiritually free and remembering real past lives. That's when you start to get introduced to the space opera. They throw you onto the tapes, tape lectures. You just drone on and listen to Hubbard just gibberish, you know, uh, in the chorus room for weeks, hours, years on end. So by the time you get up to those confidential levels and bro, they put you through the ringer just to get on there. You're ethics have to be spot on you have to this is where they get the blackmail material on you you have to tell them every crime everything you've ever done um and fix everything so they dude they make you want to um it feels super special by the time you get up to that level you've had a million hours of indoctrination in space opera so by the time you hear the xenu thing i completely believed it dude and by the way, that created schizophrenia and multiple personality disorder in me because what you're told on that level is that there's all these, um, every human being is made up of basically um, thetans, what they call them body thetans, and those thetan means soul. So you have all these souls, and there's a whole galactic story about how these souls got onto the bodies of humans. But when we incarnate, according to Scientology, we are all... Um, we have all these thetans and these souls on us. And then when I got onto OT3 and was told this, I felt every night these frickers, these, <laughs> them talking to me. So um, this is, by the way, where the MK Ultra stuff kicks in because they were to disassociate and create multiple personality disorder. That's a technology. And by the time you get up, it's not just stupid Xenu stuff. It's designed to split you um, into different personalities. This is another uh, myth that I just wanted to kind of dispense with because I want to say that this stuff is real dude I was had voices in my head talking to me I went crazy and my dad had to come down and, and I'm, I'm a normal person dude but they made me into this so by the time I worked my ass off spent god knows how much money and dude the choruses and the amount of time you dedicate it's like it's like 12 college choruses so you're the sunk cost, cost fallacy is massive you're totally invested and you totally believe in this you have uh, 50 or 100 fake past lives you've already believed in implanted into you. So, dude, it, I, it's like it took me so out there. And like I said, voices were screaming in my head every night. I would go to the gym and I would just see. I could almost hear their body things. I could just it. I could almost I, I, I could I would just see everybody around me as filled with these beings and how special I was because I knew this secret about all these other humans I was seeing around me. And every religion or whatever, Andrew would do the same thing, but there is a distinction between a destructive cult and a religion. They all may have crazy beliefs, but check this out. If you remember the Freemason, Scientology, the OTO, what makes those cults cults and different than a religion is the pyramid structure and they dole out information and the idea is to get to the top. So the Freemasons have, you know, if they go up to the 33rd degree, it goes beyond that actually, but they have, in other words, it's levels. And Scientology, they have all these different levels to get up the bridge. So they dole out bits and bits and pieces of information. If you're a Christian, they're gonna say, we believe in Jesus, he died for our sins. You get the cosmology, the creation myth, everything up front. 
in these cults, in these secret, in these secret societies. That's why I call that the series "Raised in a Secret Society." To distinguish it between a religion, you don't have to pay a million dollars, sacrifice your family and and your life and your time, and invest in all that to find out their creation myth. You know, it's a million bucks in ten years or whatever to get up to the top, so you can find out um, what it's all about. And by the way, the very top of Scientology. Um, in the 80s, before they actually removed uh, the very top of the bridge and changed it because it was so offensive to Christians. So what people were learning, imagine this, Andrew, to get from the very bottom of the bridge all the way up to the top, which is called OT8, which stands for Operating Thetan 8, and a Thetan is a spirit. So Operating as a Spirit Level 8, the highest level you can get into Scientology. He said that he's Lucifer the Lightbringer, He's come to halt the second coming, and he's basically a Satanist, and this is the big secret that he's been holding back from his flock um, this whole time, and congratulations and welcome to the level um, where only a few people got to. Now you know the true story about me, and now you can help me to um, basically do this satanic agenda. That's what people were freaking spending their lives learning when at the very beginning, and most of the way throughout, they thought they were improving their lives and going spiritually free. Now, what if he told you it was a satanic, quote unquote, satanic cult at the beginning? Do you think anybody would join that? So that's the difference between Scientology and say Christianity. They don't horn swoggle you and bullshit you and make you pay for levels to find out they tell you up front what it is. I've got loads more videos on here we'll talking Nixium, Scientology, MLMs and other stuff. So keep watching and clicking and finding out more.